Hello everyone, here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can add a circular collection slider in your Shopify store. So here on my screen, you can see that I have created this collection slider. So that is uh, circular and I have also added an effect. If you will see in your mobile view, so it will look something like this. It is also sliding from left to right. So this is looking so much beautiful. If you are selecting any of it, uh, for example, I'm clicking on new arrival, then it will be redirected to the collection page, which is connected with with that specific collection so let me show you step by step that how you can do it into your store if you have any kind of uh, theme you have installed so this is compatible with everything so you can try and if you are facing any issue you can ask I will help you out in solving the problem so firstly you should go to the dashboard of the store so you can see that I have installed down theme if you have any other theme then still you can try and it will be helpful so right now I am going to install a fresh theme for example this is the theme which I am going to uh, add it and I will be working on this one so you should uh, follow the steps which I am going to implement over here and you will definitely able to uh, achieve that uh, kind of uh, circular collection slider which all the with all these uh, effects which i have uh, just shown to you so now you can see that the down theme uh, the latest version which is 15.2.0 so that is installed so i'm going to publish this one so let me publish it and then after if you will preview it for example i'm previewing this so you will see that I have nothing like any kind of collection in the bottom or any uh, or at the top. So how we can do that? So firstly, you should go to the dashboard again, click on these three dots and duplicate this theme because right now I am going to uh, uh, work on the fresh theme. If you have already installed a theme, so you should uh, create a duplicate so that later on, if you have any problem or something, you can uh, roll it back to its original version. Now you should click on edit code. And here you can see that I have some folders and files. So firstly, you will have to find here collection list. So you can see that we have collection list dot liquid. I'm going to create a new uh, collection, a new section here. So click on add a new section and here you can write uh, collection slider. And this is an empty file. You should remove the code which is over there and then you can copy this complete code of collection list and paste it right here and then after you should make some changes so what are those changes so for example i have uh, you should scroll it to the bottom and right now we have presets so you should remove this name which is this one so i'm going to add here collection slider and copy this name from here also and scroll to the top and here you should also mention that name which is collection slider okay then after you should scroll a little bit down and uh, let me for example save save the changes and i'm going back to the dashboard and inside of the dashboard i will click on customize and here you will see all those settings and of course that collection slider section will be created click on add section and search here collection uh, slider so here you can see that we have collection slider click on it and now we have this collection slider section which is exactly similar to the uh, collection list okay so here we have multiple uh, collections which i have added here so for example i am selecting any kind of collection for example bestseller then we have the second one like brand new then we have the third one for example branded we have the fourth collection like for example home page and then after the last collection for example i am adding here which is new arrivals okay so these are the collections which i have added now now one by one i will uh, design all these things similar to the one which i uh, showed you before so for example i am going to uh, update the settings first of all from collection slider click on collection slider and here you can see that we have all these settings so i'm going to make it compatible for all the themes so for that i am going to remove all these variables so for example uh, on the top we have uh, settings and inside the setting we have inline text title so which title we are talking about this one so collection slider and we have heading so right here you can see we have uh, yeah this is the heading size so this is heading size but here is the heading so you should copy it and you can write here 
uh, yeah this is actually the collection for example this written i mean the default text is i'm going to write it collections and then the second thing is heading so i'm going to copy from here and this is the label okay then after we have heading size so all these heading size are the these which are here like medium large and extra large so how we can add it here so i'm going to remove all this so i have deleted yes and then after i am also going to delete this one and then after i have to copy all these like for example small medium large extra large so you need to write here in the first one small then we have medium and then we have large then we have extra large and the last one is extra extra large and finally we have the label which is heading size so you should copy from here and write here the label which is extra large scroll it down we have the ratio so which is this one adopt to image portrait and uh, square so we can actually uh, write it here like adopt so you should you should copy and paste it right here let me delete all this and then after yeah this one so you should just copy and paste for example adapt portrait then we have square okay and you can make the capital in the beginning then we have portrait and then we have finally adopt so this is uh, done and we have the default one which is like uh, image ratio so this is actually the label which is image ratio and then after we have another thing this one which is add images by editing your collection so this is a, a kind of information so you should paste it right here finally we have another like uh, column desktop so here is that uh, number of columns in the desktop so i have to just replace this label scroll it down then we have color schema so you should copy this text from here and we have to add this label color schema and information in the information which is this one so you should write here that information okay and then after we have another thing which is enable view all button uh, list so this is a kind of checkbox so you can copy and you can paste it right here and you can remove this double quote and then we have header so what is inside the header that is mobile layout so i'm going to paste it right here which is mobile layout scroll a little bit down then we have columns for mobile so these are the columns for mobile so you can copy this label and actually this is the label okay and one column or two columns so inside of this we are going to write something like one column and two columns all right then after we have another thing which is enable swipe on mobile mm, that is this one that is this one so let's paste it then we have another header which is section padding so you should copy from here and then after we have to write it like this okay and finally we have the paddings so we have firstly the top padding which is this one and second one is bottom padding 
copy it from there and put it right here and lastly we have featured collection so basically this is something like this if you are clicking on any of the collection so this is the title uh, this one this is one is the name actually and also same label you can see here which is this one and this one so both are same and that's it so this is something which we have uh, done related to uh, settings so for example I am refreshing this page again and you will see that all the things will be placed uh, as a text because now we have removed the variables because if you have different themes then accordingly there will be different uh, values so here we go now you can see that all the things are at its place now the next thing is you should scroll to the top and we are going to uh, remove this these top uh, CSS because we don't need this and uh, next thing is we are going to write here uh, custom collection slider so we have to write custom dash collection dash slider so this is the class I have added here and then after we have one more thing so I have added this uh, custom collection slider and one more thing is that uh, if I am uh, making it in mobile view so you can see that this is looking like this and we have also the function of a carousel enable swipe so right here you can see that we have these arrows so I'm not interested to put these arrows okay so how we can remove that you should scroll it down and here we have slider buttons so you could remove these buttons so I have removed all this and finally we have a limited code which we are going to adjust according to our uh, theme okay so I have already written a CSS which you have to paste so the CSS is this one I am going to copy from here and paste it right here at the top you should go and below this end style you should paste that complete CSS including this style tag okay so let me save the changes and let's see how it looks now so now you can see that this is looking amazing all right so I think that uh, now for example you are interested to move this maybe you can make it yeah we are interested to put it at the top so you can move it at the top and now you can see that this is looking more beautiful and now we are not interested to put this title so how we can remove you can remove from here and then save the changes and that's it and if you will see the mobile view so here you can see that it is looking more beautiful now all right so for example I am seeing on my desktop view so now you can see that if I am seeing it in the mobile view so it is looking great and if I'm seeing in a desktop view it is also looking more amazing and all those effects which I uh, showed you earlier those are also implemented so that's how you can actually add it into your store if you are facing any issue or something you can directly contact me I have already created a lot of uh, features uh, for free you can uh, watch my uh, videos playlist so of course you will learn a lot and uh, and you can add all those simple features into your Shopify store which will be more converting and you will get more sales so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video you can follow me on Instagram Facebook and TikTok, and you can also join a whatsapp group which I have recently created so thank you so much once again if you have any problem or something you if you have needed any kind of new feature then you can directly contact me I will help you uh, quickly to solve any uh, kind of coding related problem thank you so much once again See you in the next video.